The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, third canto, twelfth chapter, text number nineteen, given by His Divine Grace A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March third, nineteen seventy-five, in Dallas, Texas. By penance only can one even approach the personality of Godhead, who is within the heart of every living entity and at the same time beyond the reach of all senses. Tapasaiva parame jyoti bhagavantam madoksajam sarvabhutak bhavasa anjusa bindati puma From this bhāt we can understand the absolute truth is uh, realized in three features. Hmm. Bhagavantam Adhokshajam Jyoti Param Jyoti and Sarvabhuta Gohava. Uh, the first realization is Jyoti. Uh, the next realization is Sarvabhuta Gohavasam and the last final realization is Bhagavantam Adhokshala. The example we have given many times that uh, the sun is there the first realization is that we come in touch with the sun sign. That is very easy. Anyone can come in light of the sun sign. It is open to everyone. Uh, then the another feature of the sun sign is the sun glow. That is not so easy to have. You cannot go to the sun glow. According to the modern scientific conclusion, and we can understand that the sun glow is away from us by ninety-three millions of miles. And still we cannot uh, tolerate the temperature. And what will be your position if you go to the sun glow? Before reaching sun glow, even by some millions, of, we are already apart, ninety-three million miles. And suppose when there is three million miles apart from ninety, then the temperature is so high that we will, we will be finished. We cannot approach the sun glow and what to speak of entering into the sun glow. That requires a different body. Uh, of course, there, there are living entities in the sun glow, within the sun glow. And there is the predominant predominating deity also, the president you may call. There is a state, just like you have got here, United States. There is state also. And there is also president. And the president name is Vibhoshan. Everything is there in the Shastra. We read from Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said, I spoke to Vibhushan, the president or the predominant deity in the sun glow. So this is all fact. It is not fiction. You are seeing the sun glow and you are seeing that the sun sign is coming from the sun glow. So it is a glow, therefore there must be inhabitants. But their body is different. That is, 
just like this earthly planet is made of earth or dirt, that is made of fire. This is within these five elements, earth, water, fire, air, ether. So the mixture of these things are there also. But the fire element is, they are prominent. As here in this art, all the mixtures are there, but here the earthly element is prominent. So this is also one of the material worlds. So there are different varieties of planets. That is God's creation. This is also God's creation, that is also God's creation, but I cannot go there. Land is God's creation, water is God's creation. But you cannot live in the water, and the fish cannot live in the land. Similarly, although there are millions and trillions of planets within this universe, you have to live in that particular planet where you are destined to live. That is condition. You cannot go to the sun planet or moon planet. Uh, otherwise, what is the meaning of condition life? Condition life means you are given opportunity to live on this planet. And the other living entities, they have been given opportunity to live in the sun planet. So they cannot come and live here, and we cannot go there and live here. This is called condition life. You must live under condition. You are not free. Uh, otherwise, they are attempting so much to go to the moon planet. Uh, we are doubtful whether they are actually going. But uh, no benefit has been derived by this. Simply, you have spoiled your energy, time, and money. Uh, that is means condition. That you cannot violate the conditions of the nature. That is not possible. Uh, but they are thinking that pretty, they can do whatever they like. Uh, that is called ignorance, mura, rascal. They are living under condition, but they are falsely thinking that we are free. Is it not? They are living under condition, but they are falsely thinking that we are free. Is it not? Where is the freedom? Prakritakiramanani gunai karmani sarvasa. This rascal civilization do not admit this. They are so full that they are conditioned in every state, and still they are thinking they are free. This is called illusion. <coughs> Therefore, to get that freedom, you have to work for it. Freedom does not come. So automatically, just like you are diseased, you are under the control of fever or some other painful condition under some disease. So you have to undergo some penance, just like you are suffering from some boil on the body. It is very painful. Then, you know, to cure it, you have to undergo the surgical operation. If you want to be cured, therefore, uh, tapasa, that is tapasa. Tapo means painful condition. Tapo, just like temperature. If you are put into high temperature, 110 degrees, uh, then it is very intolerable for you. Uh, it is very painful. 
in for us Indians, we are born in India, tropical climate. It's still when the temperature is more than a hundred, it becomes intolerable. Uh, and what to speak of you, you are born in a different temperature. Uh, <clears throat> similarly, we cannot tolerate uh, lower temperature. If it is below fifty degree, it is intolerable for us. So there are different climates, different temperature, and in Canada they tolerate forty degree less than zero. So it, it is a question of uh, different condition of life, uh, but we are conditioned. High grade temperature, less temperature, high grade uh, I mean, cold. Uh, but we can be uh, trained up to any kind of uh, conditional life, that capacity we have got. Uh, there is a Bengali proverb, Sharire na maha shoy, ja shahabe tai shoy. But this um, body is, means uh, it can tolerate any condition. Provided you practice it. Uh, it is not that that you are under certain condition and if you are chained, it becomes so intolerable that you cannot leave. Uh, no. Uh, if you practice, uh, just like nowadays nobody is going, formerly they are going to the Himalayan mountain. And there is very cold, uh, and the, the tapasa, there is practice, method, in high scorching heat, the saintly personal sages, they will ignite fire all around. Already there is high temperature, and still they will uh, get fire all around. And many, Gone meditation. This is tapasya. These are the items of tapasya. There is scorching um, uh, heat and they will arrange that. And there is pinching, uh, and chilly, cold, uh, less than 100 degree, and they will go under water and put the body up to this and meditate. These are the items of tapasya. Uh, tapasya. So, for God's realization, formerly people used to undergo such uh, severe type of penances, and at the present moment you are so fallen, we cannot tolerate these four principles. It is very difficult. Uh, we are imposing some tapasya. Uh, we don't indulge in these things. No illicit sex, no uh, intoxication, no meat eating, no gambling. These are the items of tapasya for ad advancing in Krishna consciousness. So, is it very difficult? It's not difficult. If, if one can practice, go within the water up to the neck in chili, Pinching cold, uh, is it more difficult to give up illicit sex and meat eating and intoxication? We are not advising no sex, illicit sex. Where is the difficulty? But the age is so fallen that even these primary uh, tapasya uh, we cannot um, execute. Very easily. But if you want to realize God, as it is said here, tapasaiva, only by tapasa, only by penance, one can realize. Otherwise not. Otherwise it is not possible. Huh? Therefore this word is used, tapasaiva, tapasaiva, only by tapasa. There is no other means. Tapasaiva. Param. Uh, param means the supreme. 
if you want to realize the supreme the absolute then you must agree to certain type of tapas otherwise it is not possible the preliminary little tapas this like ekadash that is also one of the items of the tapas actually on the kadi desh we shall not take any food even drink water but in our society we are not doing so much strictly we say ekadashi you don't take food grains take little fruit meal this is all so we cannot execute this tapas if we are not prepared to undertake even these uh, very very easily uh, executable tapasya then how we can expect go back to home back to god huh? no that is not possible therefore here it is said tapasya eva tapasya eva eva means certain you have to uh, now uh, executing this tapasya penance are you loser you are not loser yeah. now uh, anyone will come from outside they will see in our society our members boys and girls uh, they say bright faced do they not they say distinction Uh, one priest in, in plain cloth. I was going from Los Angeles to Hawaii. One priest he uh, came to me in the plain, uh, so he asked my permission. Can I talk with you? Yes, my lord. So his first question was that I see your disciples very bright face. Uh, How it has been done? He seems here. Eh? So what is the loss by undergoing, by denying all these things, sinful activities? We are not loser. Eh? We can uh, live very simple life. We can sit down on the floor. we can lie down on the floor we don't require much furniture uh, neither uh, large amount of gorgeous dress so tapasya required uh, if we want the advancement in spiritual life we must accept some sort of tapasya in the college we cannot Uh, accept such severe type of tapasya as in the cold we go underneath uh, under water sometimes drowning or sometimes up to this and then meditate on chant hari krishna that is not possible the minimum uh, so tapasya must be there so you should note it by this bhav the some sort of tapasya must be done if we are serious About God realization, oh. that is quantum. And then the first realization is Jyoti, Brahma Jyoti. Generally, the Mahabadi uh, transcendentalists they think that this realization of Brahma Jyoti is. All in all, the yogis they think that realization of sarva guha vasa, sarva bhuto guha vasa, ishara sarva bhuta na mridesh or junatishthati. God is there in everyone's heart. This is accepted in all shastra. The Bhagavad Gita says, "Here also it is said, 'Sarva Bhuta Guhavar. Guha means the heart, uh, core of heart. So he is there. 
So one feature is Brahma Jyoti, another feature is Sarva Bhutu Guhavati. The Lord is everywhere. Not only uh, your heart, my heart, or any animal's heart, beast's heart, bird's heart, but He is also within the atom. Andantarasam Paramanu Chayantarasam. Paramanu means atom. Within the atom, there is also. Sarva Bhuta Guha within. Basha. He is living there. So this is one feature. This is called Paramatma feature. A super soul feature. As it is said in the Bhagavad Gita. Khetra Ganchapi Manga Vidhi Sarva Khetra Esu Bharata. I am also owner of this body, but I am uh, distributed in everyone's heart. Uh, in another place, sarvasya chāhaṁ ridhi So God is present everywhere. Uh, he is omnipotent, omnipresent. So in our temple, He is already there. And is still more manifest. He is present here as archabigraha, the form of the body by which he can accept our worship. He can accept. It is not that he is different from the original Krishna. No, he is Krishna, the same Krishna. Goloka eva nivasati, who is living in Golok Vrindavan, but Akhilatma Bhuta, he can present himself in different forms for accepting service, for realization. So the Akchavigraha uh, is also Krishna. Uh, therefore, Adhokhajam, uh, Adhokhajam, Adhakrita Akhajam Gyan. Our knowledge is what we see. We see can, we can see stone, we can see metal, we can see uh, other material elements, wood. Uh, so Krishna has appeared uh, as we can see. So we cannot see more than stone, wood, metal. Therefore, Krishna has appeared as stone statue. But he is not stone statue. That you have to understand. He is Krishna. But he is so kind that he has appeared before us as we can see. This is the philosophy. Not that stone is Krishna. Stone is also Krishna in the ultimate sense. Because stone is the expansion of energy of Krishna. Material energy. Bhumi rāpana lovāyu kangamano buddhudu. Vinnāme prakiti astadhā. This is called philosophy of Inconceivable, one and different. The same example you can give the, the sun sign. In the sun sign, there is heat and temperature. That means the sun is there. The sun sign has come uh, while you are standing. You could stand this side. Hmm. The sun sign has entered my room. Therefore, sun has entered my room. This is my Avadipurata. No. The, by the entrance of sunshine within your room, the sun has entered and has not entered. This is right philosophy. Achinta Vedave. Achinta, simultaneously, one and different. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu philosophy. Achinta Veda. We cannot think, adjust, that how one thing can be the other thing. 
uh, that we cannot experience due to our uh, little fund of knowledge, poor fund of knowledge. But in case of Krishna, God, that is possible. Simultaneously, one and different. So here, if you think to the atheist, this form is made of stone, and they are thinking that this crazy fellow, they are worshiping a stone. In that sense, Krishna is not there. If a crazy man breaks this statue, he does not break Krishna, but he breaks the stone. <coughs> this is simultaneously one and divine. But the devotee, he is Krishna. All the time he is Krishna. Because even if you take it as stone, stone is also Krishna, because it is expansion of Krishna's energy. The same example. The sun sign is also sign. Uh, and Krishna is omni, being omnipotent. He can accept your service uh, anyway, provided you want to render service. Krishna is ready to accept it. Uh, therefore, our duty is that we should never think of this deity as something made of stone or metal. We should always think here is Krishna personally present. That is devotion. And we should worship him like that. Uh, we should offer respect. Uh, that here is Krishna, we cannot do anything wrong. And therefore, there is least of uh, offenses of worshiping. Sixty-four, or how many? It is stated in the nectar of those. Do you discuss this? So we should avoid these offenses. Not that here is a stone statue. He is not going to see. I am doing this offense, and then that is not very good. We should always feel that here is Krishna, personally present. Actually, he is personally present. Then are you so fool that we are worshipping a stone deity? No. We mean we have installed this deity under the direction of previous authorities, acharya. So it is not whimsical. We have installed the deity exactly under the direction of the previous Acharya, and therefore the deity is personally present, Krishna. As he is present everywhere, Sarva Bhuta Guhavasa. Similarly, he can live in many millions of temples simultaneously and live at the same time, Goloka Vrindavan. That is Krishna. That is Krishna's omnipotence. So, Krishna being very kind, He has appeared in our various temples. We should be very careful that here is personally present Krishna. There is personally uh, Radharani is there, personally Lord Chaitanya is there, Lord Jagannath is there. But he is keeping himself in a such a way uh, that you can handle in any way. Uh, even if you commit some mistake, he does not protest. Uh, but we should not commit any mistake. That is our duty. We should not create such thing as it is offensive. Therefore, the direction is there in the Shastra. And then you do like this, do like this, there will be no offense. And offenseless service will make you more and more advanced in spiritual life. <coughs> so Krishna has uh, Bhagavantam. Here it is said, Bhagavantam. Uh, the Supreme Personality of Godhead is Krishna. Uh, but he is adhokhajam, beyond our sense perception. Adhokhajam. Adhakrita akhajam jnanam. 
our knowledge is limited within this sense perception. That's all. Uh, we can see so long the light is there. If the light is not there, then our seeing power is finished. Therefore, it is limited. Uh, and Krishna is beyond this limitation. Therefore, his name is Adhokkhajam. Adhakrita Akhajam Gyanam Jatra. Akhajam Gyanam means knowledge acquired by sense perception. Akhaja. Akha means eyes. And jaw means generate. So I see this book. Because my eyes are seeing, it is book. But as soon as the light is off, I cannot see where is the book and where is the table, where you are. Uh, similarly, we cannot see at the present moment by the imperfect senses uh, what is Krishna. Therefore, it is Krishna's kindness that He has appeared before you in a manner by which you can see. This is Krishna's mercy. Uh, not that the atheistic philosophy. They are worshipping deity, some stone, some metal. Not like that. Uh, it's adhokkaja. Uh, we cannot see Krishna with our present eyes, but we can see Him through the scripture. Uh, the, through the scripture is that we, although we cannot see Him by our present imperfect senses, adhokkaja, beyond our perception, uh, still we can see Him. How? Through the authorities. Through the authorities. The same example as I have given, that I do not know who is my father. Uh, but through the authority of mother, I can see him. Here is my father. Uh, this is called um, authority, seeing. Uh, if mother certifies that my dear child, here is your father. That is the only certificate, authority. You can understand who is your father. Otherwise there is no... By experimental knowledge, by mental speculation, he may be my father, he may be my father, he may be my father. Uh, that you go on speculating for many millions of years, still you will not be able to understand who is your father. But if you take the authority of your mother, immediately you understand. Uh, that means adhokkhaja. You cannot speculate what is God. Uh, but if you take the authority, then you can understand God. Otherwise, it's not possible. Athapite deva padam vijadyam prasada leshanu grihita evai janati tattam nachana eko vichirang vichindam. This is a verse. It is said, my dear Lord, hmm? your lotus feet padam vijadyam can be understood by a person who has received a little favor. Athapite deva padam vajitta prasada leshanu grihita eva. One who has received little favor, he can understand it. And what for others? Uh, for others, no cha anna ekupi chiranga vichinna. If they speculate for millions of years, still they will not be able to. Just like in your country, Bhagavad Gita was being read for the last two hundred, three hundred years. So many scholars, so many Indian scholars or Americans, they have written Bhagavad Gita. But not a single person understood Krishna. Not a single person. Uh, but now, when they are reading Bhagavad Gita as it is, they are understanding by the mercy of God. The mercy is shown. If you follow the process, authoritative process, prasadu leshanu grihita yivai, 
one who has received a little minute quantity of the favor of Krishna, he can understand Krishna. And others, if they go on speculating for millions of years, they will not be able to. This is the fact. Therefore, he is called Adhok Kajya. Uh, so, our Krishna consciousness movement is the authorized process uh, by which you can understand Krishna, the Supreme Law. Mm. By other method, it is not possible. Krishna personally says, uh, Munishanam Sahasrishu Kasti Jadati Siddhaye Jatatama Pishidhyanam Kasti Vetimam Tattat. Nobody can understand. Uh, out of many millions and trillions of persons, one is interested how to make his life success. Otherwise, they are not interested in They are cats and dogs, they are jumping here and there. That's all. Uh, and out of those persons who are interested, uh, some may understand what is Krishna. Uh, so, Krishna is not so very easily understood, but by the grace of Krishna, uh, we can understand him, if we follow. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Matta Parataraṁ nānat kinchi jasti dhananjā. Kajā dhananjā. There is no more superior power than me, uh, or greater than me. Uh, if we accept the statement of Krishna, then we understand Krishna immediately. Uh, otherwise, by speculation, it is not possible. Uh, the process is, Tapasaiva, a little tapasa. So whatever little tapasa we have prescribed, you follow, you'll understand Krishna. And if you understand Krishna, then your life is successful. Thank you very much.